Rob with Compton Rick Rock TV. This is the last day of Black History Month. I felt like I did my part this month. Um, I put out a lot of videos within the last probably two weeks, all positivity, which I feel was needed for a lot of my followers, for a lot of my uh, young followers, especially that follow me. The message that I put out. Did you check on your kids and make sure that they had something in their stomach to eat today? them up there for you guys to keep going back keep going back maybe it's something in those videos that you guys can use that can help you in the future uh you know it's always important that a lot of us especially coming from these ghetto communities well i ain't gonna call them ghetto communities but from the communities that we come from a lot of us got to take responsibility and throw them positive messages messages out there because you don't know who's following you you don't know who might look at you as an inspiration, a motivation, uh, somebody that they could say, you know what, he been through it, I can learn from his testimony. So I feel like I did my part, my due diligence in this February, Black History Month. I did that on purpose. I did it on purpose. Sometimes you gotta put the candy, you gotta put the candy in the medicine and feed it to them. And I feel like that's what I did. I didn't really wanna get it to a lot of the politics that was going online. I didn't really want to jump on the bandwagon and, and go at another brother. Not this month, not Black History Month. Uh, this is the last day of Black History Month. And so far, this has been a crazy month. I will agree. Um, let, me, let, me, let me let you guys in on some of the things I know that took us off the attention of Black History Month. Wendy Williams. I seen Wendy Williams in uh, her little documentary. And when I was looking at it, I was like, hmm, this is kind of interesting. Uh, she's not all the way mentally there due to her medical condition. And I feel like they threw that out there to play on us, uh, to keep our minds off of more important things. Because we didn't see, I didn't see, not I didn't see a lot of positive stuff this month coming from... Uh, a lot of not even commercials regular commercials that you see on tv uh even with the news i didn't see nothing representing black history month another thing with the uh p diddy situation this has had this situation has been going on and going on uh it's a lot of victims out there it's a lot of people with uh that's coming out saying that uh he just he just a wild guy you know what i'm saying and uh with this last situation, they even brought Meek Mills into the picture and said that Meek Mills might have had something going on with P. Diddy as well as Usher, allegedly. I just feel like these was all distractions to take us off what's really going on. Uh, as far as the P. Diddy situation, you know what I'm saying, for the victims in his case that's having the courage to come out, um, yeah, I don't know who P. Diddy might have, I don't know who he messed with, but it seemed like he messed with the wrong people. And it might seem like a lot of these people was looking for a payout, but at the end of the day, I don't think, I don't think everybody is, is making these stories up. You know what I'm saying? I'm nobody to sit here and, and judge nobody, but I don't think that all these people is making these stories up. They all the same. And you know, sometimes when you a victim, when you a victim of uh, anything sexually, some people be scared to come out. And when they see other people come forward, then they got the courage to come out, especially this guy, Little Rob, the producer that claimed that Puffy didn't give him his publishing. And he touched him in the studio. And all these little accusations that he's bringing up against P. Diddy, uh, that one right there was kind of crazy because if he's not getting his publishing, that, that means that he's not going to be getting his money due from the project, the love project that him and Puffy did. And he knew if he would have filed charges, uh, a lawsuit for the publishing, Puffy would have just... Just, just just, did him over in uh, lawyer fees. It would have just been an ongoing thing and he wouldn't have been to fight that case. But uh, yeah, he came out being a male. He came out and said some stuff that Puffy did to him. And it's going to be other, it's going to be more people coming out because now that they're going to have the courage because they see people speaking up. But like I said, I still think that they publicizing this more 
because of Black History Month. And uh, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to use the P. Diddy situation um, as why they coming up with this during Black History Month. This here, this, this, that's really a problem. That's a problem, you know, and it seems like, uh, yeah, he's he he's in some hot water, man. Whoever he ticked off, um, they coming after him and they not stopping. Um, that's the thing, man. When you get power, you get money, man. Uh, sometimes it get to your head, drugs. And I was just listening to some of the stuff that was going on, drugging, putting putting drugs in the alcohol that the females was drinking at his parties. Allegedly, him and his son having uh, sexual relations with underage girls and. Man, that stuff is stuff is crazy, man. Um, yeah, man, it's Black History Month, and I want you guys to 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 look at it like this. This is the last day in Black History Month. I'm gonna try to load this video up before the night end, and have some of my uh, fellow YouTubers, some of the ones I know, before we end, let's try to put out put out a positive message, man. I didn't threw like 10 videos out. We're going to keep these things rolling. We're going to keep these true, we're going to keep these stories going. None to incriminate nobody, but we're going to keep them going. And we also going to, we also going to do something different uh, coming up. We're going to come with the merchandise. I don't want to put the name out there yet. You guys probably have already seen it. If you follow me on my, on my Instagram page, Compton Rick Rock. Uh, you probably already know what merchandise I'm about to come with. Well, anyway, I want to do something new too. I want to start giving back to the uh, less fortunate. I want to get out there and do the feeding again for the people that have been following me all the way back in 2019. I was passing out piece of way back then to the homeless. We want to do some more of that. So if you guys want to donate to this channel for the betterment of this channel, if you guys want to donate uh, to give back to the less fortunate, I got something special that I want to do besides giving out food. Uh, we're going we gonna to get to all that. But if you guys want to donate, donate to the Cash App, uh, Compton Rick Rock. We're going to put that in the description. And we're going to also put it on here. It's Compton Rick Rock with Compton Rick Rock TV. Black History Month. And we're going to the next one. <laughs>